It's time! How about four thinking that that would have come to pass only a few short years later? But in Israel Asanya, you also have the mentality, but the fighting ability to become a UFC champion in only 12, 13 months. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. All right, so here we go. Round one is underway. I can't wait to see how this fight plays out because he told us on Thursday that despite his opponent's submission acumen, he's more than willing to engage him on the ground. A lot of times guys fight with their ego. They try to go and fight their opponent in their spot. Let's see if this proves to be a very bad decision. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Single collar tie now. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Now going upstairs with the left hook. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. Beautiful kick. And gets the tie clinch here. Good final shot. Checks that leg kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And there comes the separation now. Just unable to quite find that range. And he landed the right hand there. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Just over two minutes now to go. Circling to his right. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Penn. Connects with a right. Oh, big elbow. He loaded up there on that high kick. Big knee to the body. Beautiful knee. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Oh, nice. Oh, left hook to the head is blocked. And misses with the right hand. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Ten seconds now in round one. You gotta check these low leg kicks. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, Will. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, second round is underway. Your Ready? thoughts on what we saw over the Ready? first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round. It was very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Nice punch there by Adesanya. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Real sneak by the Israel Adesanya gets hit with that hook shot there. He's got to be careful to not allow the offense to follow up here. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more ball. Nice liver shot lines. Oh, straight right. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. And now out 
Adesanya mixing it up a little bit. We'll see what he can offer on the canvas. I mean, he can do it all. He's long told us that he has a great ground game. Nobody has forced him to use it yet. Let's see what he does with this position. Effective punch there by Adesanya. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Left hook to the head. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. And they separate. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, and he caught the kick. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Oh! Knee to the body. Oh, big knee. He's drunk. He's hurt bad. Throwing haymakers out of the exchange. Bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Penn. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. This is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC. And you're seeing why. Penn's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. All right, so he gets knocked down, but not out. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. A huge round on the other side. He had him hurt very bad. He found the shot. He got exactly what he wanted. When he saw the opening, he jumped on it, and he hurt his opponent very bad. If he can get back to that one more time, he may end the night. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds. Oh, my well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Nice punch lands over the top. Well, you saw us referencing the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. His punch is blocked. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. Oh! He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Penn's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. That is it! Oh, and there comes the stoppage. He's done, he's done. Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head. But ultimately, this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has brought a stop to this contest at 1 minute 47 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Israel, the last dial bender, Arasana. Well, 
he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.